I have to act like a nerd again? It's time for science. More specifically, lateral displacement. You know this is actually physics, which is part of the science family. Anywho, pay attention please. If you saw the Surf Mode Maverick installation video where I showed you all how to set it up, you will recall me stating the fact that these aren't wake shapers, but instead, these are wings that work together as one when attached to a wake boat. I didn't elaborate on how they worked, because quite frankly, I just wanted to get that video over with so I could go surf. What? I have priorities. So I'm guessing if you're watching this video that you've seen a typical wake shaper in action, right? You know what they do, they create delayed convergence. Obviously, they also require a lot of ballast weight to function correctly. But now there's another way, a newer way, to create a great wave. Video editor, can I have a chalkboard graphic, please? Wait, I'm the one editing this. Can I, uh, can, can you, uh, can, can me, Alexander, can you please, as you're watching yourself, bring up the dang chalkboard? Thank you. All right, let me step into my geeky Poindexter nerd voice for this next part. Traditional displacement works by forcing your boat downwards, which makes a steep wave. Just think of the whole equal and opposite reaction spiel from that Newton fella. The further down you push, the higher the wave. The patent pending Surf Mode Maverick lateral displacement surf system changes all of that. Surf Mode Maverick's lateral this, that, and the other thing spins your boat by about four degrees. That might not sound like much, but in terms of a surf wave, it's game changing. The wings act like airplane flaps when it lands, breaking the boat to one side. The shape, size, and placement of the wings are important because if not done correctly, the boat will just turn to one side. This wouldn't be successful lateral displacement, it would be a turn. Without Surf Mode Maverick, the first part of your boat to enter the water is the bow, and generally right in the center. With Surf Mode Maverick, the first part of your boat that enters the water is the surf side of your boat. This is why the estimate of how long your surf pocket should be will be pretty darn accurate when installed correctly. The way that Surf Mode Maverick spins your boat makes the hull become your wake shaper. Mind blown. The Surf Mode Maverick system allows you to reduce ballast weight because it literally pulls your boat into the water, keeping it there, and lets your hull drive the wave. Forming the wave with lateral displacement makes the wave wider, which gives you more push at the bottom of the wave. All right, I cannot do that voice anymore. Done with it. So here's a visual aid in regards to what was mentioned on the chalkboard graphic. Imagine you have a door that is 36 inches wide and that you need to fit a 35 and 7 8 inch box through the opening of that door. Carefully line it up and push it through. Pretty easy, right? Now we take the same door with the same box, but this time spin the box four degrees. The box won't fit because now this slight four degree shift has made it wider. This is how lateral displacement works. The wave is longer and wider because it's presented with a longer side to the water. Lateral displacement allows for faster surf speeds. With surf mode, faster is better. A faster wave is firmer, so heavier surfers will appreciate this. All right, that's a wrap for this video. I hope that this paints a clearer picture of the clockworks of Surf Mode Maverick and will help you understand why your wave does what it does and doesn't do what it doesn't do. My name is Alexander Ozzie, and I am out of here.